Hello ghouls and ghosts, welcome to this week's video. My name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library. So this week is ghouls and ghosts. So yes, this week is ghost theme and I'm actually starting this Wednesday night awesome so <laughs> basically because i'm really excited to start on these books and actually i've already started one of them this week i have four books that i plan on reading which is more than the normal weeks that i've been doing i've been trying to get through three but i've mostly only been getting through two but this week i'm gonna try and get through four and i think i can and here's why <laughs> i say i think i can here's why and then like who knows if i'll actually do it but all the books are either going to be small or quick reads and instead of starting with the smallest book and then going to the biggest book I'm gonna start with the bigger books <laughs> and then end with the smaller books because that's just probably going to be easier so the biggest book that I have on here is The Summoning this is by Kelly Armstrong this is the first in a trilogy and this trilogy was gifted to me um, and this is actually the book I've already started. I have the audiobook for it, and I am two hours into the audiobook, which lands me around page 89, 90. So I'm almost at 100 pages, and this is just shy of 400 pages. So I am almost a fourth of the way through already. I, I love it. So it's the idea that this girl sees ghosts, and she can communicate with ghosts. They can talk to her, and she can talk to them. But because of it, and no one knows what's going on, they have to put her in a home. Um, they think she's mentally unstable, they think she has schizophrenia, um, but we'll see if that's actually the case. Um, she could honestly just talk to ghosts. So I have the entire trilogy. My goal for this week is to finish the first one. And then if magically I do finish all the other books and I do have time, I'll continue with the trilogy. Otherwise, that's something I would like to continue after Halloween still. Uh, because it is still spooky, I still think it'll be a cozy fall read. So this is the one that I've already started and I'm hopefully going to finish first. It's really helpful when I have the audiobook. And then the next one that I'm going to move on to is The Ghost in Apartment 2R by Dennis Markell. This is a middle grade. I'm finally getting into the middle grades of <laughs> this reading extravaganza. Um, so yeah, this is about a boy who thinks that there is a ghost or someone haunting apartment 2R. So he takes some friends and he investigates. Um, I'm really excited to read this. It's I don't think it'll take me too long because it's less than 300 pages, but it's also middle grade. So the writing is going to be a little bit easier to get through. And I think it's, it's adorable. I mean, look at that. So this will be my next priority. Moving on, the third book that I'm going to read is an interesting one because it is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. And this, again, is another middle grade. It's another really short one. You know, again, it's under 300 pages. Um, but what makes this interesting is this will be my first Victoria Schwab book. I haven't read any books by Victoria Schwab, V.E. Schwab, none of the books written by that human being. So this is the first. I only own the first one in the series, but I assume if I like it, I will pick up the next books in the series if possible. Um, and so yeah, I'm, and this has got a little bit of, not even mixed media, but it's got these black pages. Yeah, it's split up into parts with these dark pages, and I love that. So this will be the third book that I am going to read and then the last book that I'm going to read I think I don't know if I'm going to read it last or if it's just going to be the book that I read on a day where I don't feel like reading or I don't have a lot of time to read and that is Sheets. Uh, this is by Brenna Fomler and this is a graphic novel so and again under 300 pages graphic novel so I, this will take me the shortest amount of time to read this is probably going to be a one sitting type of deal if I can help it. Maybe two sittings if I get interrupted. So those are the four books that I plan on reading this week. I think, I think because I took, I didn't take a break, but I definitely only read 
a book and a half because I DNF'd a book last week and so I've been able to kind of give myself a small break or just kind of relax a little bit because I am pushing myself to read so much more than I normally do and I am enjoying it. I love consuming these stories this quickly but it's not what I normally do. I needed to take like a couple days off to prevent myself from burning out but now that I've done that and I am really excited for all of these books. I think it'll be all right, and I think I can do it. So, there we go. It's Wednesday night. I am doing laundry, and I need to pick Brennan up from work later tonight. So, there is potential for more reading to be done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go take a shower. I probably won't update you until tomorrow, though, after work. Just because if reading does happen tonight, it'll be really late at night. So, check up with you on Thursday. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to update again tonight because it'd be really late at night. And it is. It's 12.30 Wednesday. Um, but I, I did a lot of progress. So, I am now halfway through the summoning. And I'm liking it. It's definitely a lot different than what I thought it was going to be but at the same time I had no idea what it was going to be but so when she goes into the home I thought it, she was only going to be be in there for a short while uh but no she is still there and I mean I like it it's a very interesting cast of characters but it's not quite found family so it's really interesting um so I'm halfway through it and I'm really enjoying it and then I did also start the Ghost in Apartment 2 are, so um, I'm not very far into it yet. I'm only like 30, 40-ish pages in. I'm going to read a few more chapters, but the chapters are really short. Um, but it's it's adorable. I've kind of, I didn't realize how much I missed middle grade, um, but the, the writing in this and the main character just being like all oh, sassy and like a kid, I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to read a few more pages of this and I'm going to go to bed. And that is my update. All right, it's almost six o'clock Thursday. I've come home from work. I've edited my husband's paper so that he can turn it in. I've done all my virtual work. I am so tired. I, I'm very much in this weird mood where I want to take a nap. I wanna watch Black Widow now that it's released for all streaming, but I also still wanna read my books, so. But I'm afraid if I start reading, I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm afraid if I watch something, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking I should sleep, but I also don't want to sleep the day away. Um, I haven't made too much more progress from my last clip of I'm halfway through this, and I'm enjoying it. It's different what I, than what I thought, but I am very much intrigued. And I also just remembered like it's a trilogy, so like having this good setup for the trilogy is good like it, it's not just a long setup for one book it's a it's a detailed setup for the trilogy um but i am listening to the audiobook of this so i'm gonna get through it pretty quickly um so i might sit here and read the middle grade uh the ghost in apartment 2r so and i'm enjoying that one i read a little bit more before bed and i like it so far i think it's adorable so i will figure out what i'm gonna do with my life and kind of catch up with you later Okay, it's Friday afternoon, and guess what? Surprise, surprise, I'm tired. Uh, but I have amazing reasons for it this time. I am tired because last night, so normally I pick up Brennan, my husband, at like 11 when his shift is supposed to be done, but lately he's been giving, getting out like 11.20, 11.30. Last night he didn't finish until midnight, so we didn't get to bed until 12.30, and then I had to wake up at 4 a.m. for my 5.30 shift. So, I got less than four hours of sleep. I haven't had a single cup of coffee or tea or any caffeinated drink. I'm just not a person who survives off of that, which is a miracle. Um, <laughs> to be a 21-year-old not surviving off of coffee? Hi. So, obviously, I'm tired and my head hurts, but we're pushing through. So I have some time now um, and I, I'm debating on what I want to read if I want to listen to the audiobook. I want to listen to the audiobook of the summoning and do some cleaning or if I want to sit here and chill with the ghost in apartment 2R 
it's interesting with these two books just because I've been obviously going back and forth as this is audio and this is physical of oh I have five minutes to listen to my audiobook and oh I'm when I wait to pick up my husband you know for that 10 15 30 hour long <laughs> sitting uh, I bring this along and so I read this and it's it's definitely starting to pick up in the spooky factor a little bit um, he's definitely noticing weird things happening to the room he saw a ghost and it's, it's getting to a point where I'm like wow this is like really spooky for a, like like it's all traditional spooky but like I haven't read anything just good old-fashioned ghost spooky like this so I'm excited I'm loving it I'm getting slightly spooked out so yeah I'm enjoying it I'm almost a quarter of the way through maybe I'm almost a third of the way through that looks more like a quarter of the way through anyway so I would love to sit down and do this but I think it would be more productive for me to do some cleaning so I will listen to this uh, yeah so that's my first update of the day just kind of introducing the day I don't know if I'm really gonna have a lot of montage clips in here this vlog but I'll certainly try to make it interesting <laughs> all right it is Friday night there we go and I finally did a lot of audiobook listening and I it's it's a good story I wish that you know, it's taking place so much more in the house than I was hoping it would. Um, again, it's a trilogy, so it's set up, but even still, I feel like it's just taking so long to move forward. But the past couple of scenes have been really interesting. We've been learning a lot, and it is tying back into ghosts a little bit more, which is a good thing because it is my ghostly reading week. So it is getting better in that regard. I am in hour and a half which for me is about 45 minutes um a little under that i'm a little under an hour and a half left in the audiobook so i'm hoping to finish that tomorrow and then i would love to make lots of progress in the ghosts of apartment 2r and then hopefully i can speed through the next two books as they are shorter and one's a graphic novel so i'm super tired so i'm gonna go sleep and hopefully tomorrow will be more interesting and i will have some finished books to talk to you about. Hi. As you saw, if it, I did some kind of reading, so it's Saturday night, late at night, and um, oh, I make sure. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna show you plants, but anyway, I finished listening to the audiobook of *The Summoning* by Kelly Armstrong. It's the first in a trilogy. I own the trilogy, but none of my audio apps have. The second or third book in the trilogy on audio which means i have to sit and physically read them which is not gonna happen this week maybe i could have listened to them but if the audiobooks aren't there then it's just not gonna happen i liked it i think i'm gonna give it three out of five stars i think it was a solid book i think i don't know if it really aged all that well and i think that i had just been waiting and waiting for them to do something and then when they finally did it that was like the end of the book and then the kind of cliffhanger I really appreciate the cliffhanger though the cliffhanger I am enjoying purely because it's a cliffhanger not because it's a good cliffhanger but because it exists it makes me happy I think that there are some pretty good directions they can go in the second book but I I don't know if they actually go any interesting directions or if they just go the 
classic route that kind of everybody takes. So I probably, I won't finish the trilogy this week, but yeah. And as I was listening, as you saw, I was also working on crocheting. So I haven't crocheted or knit in a while. I know how to do mo both, but I'm terrible at knitting and I kind of prefer crocheting, but I've been crocheting for a lot less. I started knitting in third grade and <laughs> I started crocheting in high school, but I didn't do it too much. Anyway, this channel is not about knitting and crocheting. It's about books. It was kind of nice to have um, something to physically do while listening that isn't physically taxing. Uh, so like I didn't sit there and clean. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping I can pair audiobooks and crocheting a little bit more. Uh, that would be really nice. But I have I have been slowly making process in the Ghost in Apartment 2R. Again, it's just kind of the book that I carry with me everywhere and I read like five pages here, five pages there. Now that I've finished the summoning, I don't have any other audiobooks for the books of this week. None of them had audiobooks that I could access. So it's mostly gonna be sitting and physically reading. So I won't be able to listen and crochet for a while, but. I'm enjoying this. I think I'm going to be really happy to be able to just kind of sit down and read through it. So I think tomorrow, if I can sit down for a few hours, I can just plow right on through this, no problem. Um, yeah, I'm a quarter of the way through. So I'm really excited. That is my update for tonight. And I will see you tomorrow when I show you some of the new plants that we got. <laughs> kitchen window. I love the leaves in there. It is so full. time for an update. So I did not do a talking update yesterday, but I did film a wonderful fall day. It was perfect. We did almost anything and everything fall. We listened to spooky music and Halloween playlists. We went to an apple orchard that also had a pumpkin patch and there were hay rides and we bought donuts and had apple cider and had pumpkin soup and made pumpkin pie like it was fully fall and it was wonderful but I also got some reading done yesterday I was too tired to update you before I went to bed and especially because I was already going to bed later than I wanted to because I had to wake up at four in the morning for work today so I finished the ghost in apartment 2R and I'm gonna give this four out of five stars I think it was a very solid fun read there was it was really cool because the story did a great job of tying in 
ghosts from other cultures and tying in like their mythologies and their ideas on the traditions of ghosts. But the main character in here is Jewish, so the ghost ended up being a Jewish style ghost, a Dubuk, I think. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Uh, I'm not Jewish and I read the book, so I couldn't hear it said, so I don't know. Um, but there was a lot of really great Jewish representation. Um, it was, I think this is a great book for kids to read. It was, it was, so it was very diverse, really cool to read that. I, I liked the writing. It was very much coming from a kid and it was just wonderful. Um, it was very much that old creepy, that old fashioned style creepy where it's like a face in the window or knocking on the door and just like things like that. And I haven't read like traditional classy horror like that in a long time so it was really fun to kind of read that and go through that experience that being said i felt like the beginning of this it was did a good job of introducing it but it got very slow after that until things picked up like halfway through because you had the events that were happening that didn't pertain to the ghost that much and the ghost plot line is really what i cared about um, because that was really the only plot line happening. So when we were kind of in that beginning where we're waiting for the ghost things to really pick up, it just felt a little slow. Um, this very much had Harry Potter vibes, not just because of the fact that the main character sleeps under the stairs, like he doesn't have a room, even though his older brother did. It's Harry Potter vibes in the friend group, because he's very much like a Harry character, where he's the main character and people need to believe him and he's got to figure things out. But then the girl, Nat, is very much like Hermione, very brainy, very logical, resourceful, um, you know, just kind of that style character. And then the other friend, Gus, was just like all eating, just being the funny friend, the just the other friend kind of guy, kind of like Ron was. I mean, I love Ron, don't get me wrong, but it was, it was very much Harry Potter friend group, Harry Potter vibes, um, so... Which wasn't necessarily my favorite thing, because I like it when things are unique, but I still liked all the characters. One thing that this book does is, so because of all the different cultural elements that I mentioned earlier, it explains everything. Any food, object, tradition, anything that pertains to the book at all, it'll say what it is, and then the main character will explain it to us. Which can be really nice when you have all these different cultural influences and you may not be familiar with them. But then it did get a little explainy. Um, but the ending was adorable. I loved the ending. It was so cute. So it's a solid four star read. I thoroughly enjoyed this. So that leaves me as having finished two books this week. The two longest books so far. The Summoning, the first in the trilogy, and The Ghost in Apartment 2R. So now I'm going to start City of Ghosts uh, by Victoria Schwab. A reminder. This is my first Victoria Schwab book ever. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. I'm hoping I can read it really quickly. And then I only have one other book, which is Sheets, and that's a graphic novel, so I will read that quickly. So I think this is gonna be my most successful week yet. I'm also thinking about the film that I want to watch this week. Because um, I feel like the two most known ghost movies are Beetlejuice and Casper, like the friendly ghost, and I have seen neither of those movies. I know I have access to Beetlejuice, so I might watch it, but in theory I would love to watch them both if I also have access to Casper. Um, but yeah, otherwise I might also watch other movies that have ghosts in them as well. I just, because reading is going so well, I want to treat myself with watching more like ghost movies and whatnot, but I also don't want that to put me in a reading slump for next week, which is vampires, so. Yeah, it's Monday. I have two more days of the week, and those two days are days off from work, so this is going to go really well, I think. Knock on wood. I really I hope I'm not jinxing it. <laughs> Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and the noise in the background is the dishwasher, so I'm sorry, but that's just what it's going to be. I'm getting ready to finally sit down and read City of Ghosts. I haven't started it yet. I think I would love to just sit here and read it all the way through if I can. So we're gonna give that a try. Hello. So it's later. It is about 
3.30, and I am halfway through City of Ghosts, and I'm really liking the balance between mystery and setting. I think it's doing a good job of obviously getting us all those spooky, cozy vibes of Edinburgh, and how haunted the city as a whole is, and how everyone has a ghost story to tell. That's really fun. Um, and yes, the dishwasher is running again. <laughs> So that's really fun. Okay, I was very rudely cut off there by the dishwasher, but you know, life happens. So I was saying how I love the setting and I love the atmosphere, but I also love how the author is doing a great job of setting up these mysterious characters, introducing people who we don't know their backstory, but they we know they're going to be significant one way or another, whether it's positive or negative, we don't know. Um, so I was really enjoying that. Um, so that was my update from halfway through the book. Since then, I have cleaned the kitchen, uh, gone to game night, and finished the book. So I think I'm going to rate this 4 out of 5 stars. I think, I don't know if it was overhyped for me, or I just felt like it was missing a little something, or I don't know. I think if I had read this earlier on in life, I would have loved it more, just because... I mean, like, obviously it's a middle grade, but I think it was a really good written middle grade. I just, I don't, I don't really have a good reason for not giving it five stars, other than I just don't feel like I should give it a five stars. Like, it just didn't feel like a five star read to me. Um, but it was definitely really good four star read. I love the relationship between the character and her best friend, the ghost. Again, love the setting and atmosphere. I really, I loved, like, the camera aesthetics in this, like... So there's obviously the wonderful atmosphere and the setting of Edinburgh being the spooky, the city of ghosts, but just the main character had her own like style and aesthetic and I loved it and I thought it fit in so well. And it makes me sit here and want to like almost cosplay as her or something, just like kind of take influence from her, which is really cool. I love it when a character can do that. I think my only critique is that I wish there was more of Grimm. So Grimm is their cat and Grimm is mentioned at the beginning and at the end and then Grimm doesn't do anything in the middle but yet Grimm is on the cover and I felt like it would be so cool to have the cat at certain moments in the story just for sake of cat but I also really loved the nod at the cat seeing ghosts like knowing that Jacob is there which I think was amazing so yeah I finished this it's Tuesday night which means I have finished three books this week and I have one more to go and that one more is Sheets and that is the graphic novel. I'm thinking I'm going to read it tonight. The question is if I start reading it will I finish reading it tonight? I definitely think I could read it in one sitting. It's just a question of if I want to stay up that late and finish it but I also am not sure because it's the last book I need to read this week. I could also just read it tomorrow. Um, I'll probably end up closing out the vlog tomorrow, whether or not I read sheets tonight, just so I can go to bed. But it's definitely, it's already been my most successful week, which is really exciting, especially since I was really excited for all of the books this week. Um, so I'll close it out tomorrow, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and start sheets. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I just got back from doing a Target run and getting a pumpkin spice latte. Yesterday was such a beautifully fall aesthetic day for me, um, so I wanted to continue that a little bit today. I won't be able to as much, but I figured this was a great way to continue the fall vibes is with the pumpkin spice latte. Now that I know I like them, I will be drinking them a lot more. I don't normally drink coffee. I don't go to Starbucks or any coffee shop very often, um, so getting Starbucks is a rarity, but now that I've discovered I like them and they're only here for the season, say goodbye to my money. Um, so anyway, I am going to sit here and read Sheets. I am so excited to read this. I think it's going to be adorable. It's the last book I need to read. Obviously, if you've been watching this whole clip, then you know. Um, but yeah. I also actually have 56 days on audiobook and it's actually due later today back to the library on audio. So once I finish this, I might try and do some more cleaning or work and kind of listen to it. But 
yeah, that should really be everything. Uh, I'm not going to close out the blog just yet. So I'm just going to sit here and read. It's it's nice and it's not early in the morning, but it is, it's 1030. So I've got plenty of time, but I'm going to sit here and read it now. I read this. It's Wednesday night and uh, <laughs> I read this and I liked it. I'm giving it four out of five stars. I... Everything about it was great and adorable. It was so sad for so long. Like, it wasn't until the last, like, seemingly few pages. Our neighbor's dog is howling, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that poor dog. Um, it was sad all the way up until that point, and it just made me feel sad. And even though the ending was kind of happy, I was still just kind of like, so, but I feel like there wasn't really enough interaction between the main character and the ghost to really form opinions about each other other than negative ones. And then when, like, one thing was said, it was like, oh, yeah, we're friends now. And it was just like, hmm. So I, I wasn't a super understanding of the road of the relationship. And I feel like... Some of the drop-off points where it would switch between places was just kind of weird or it didn't flow very well. So, but I, overall, I still recommend it, especially with how short and adorable it is. The art style was very interesting. I don't think it's my favorite kind of art style, personally, but it was interesting. I, and I don't think the characters ever looked happy like they always looked sad depressed and angry so it just kind of felt very flat until like the very end so that, that those are my brief thoughts on this book and uh those are all four books i read all four books that i planned to this week how exciting also as a side note on all this i hit 100 subscribers like that's pretty exciting. I'm now up to 100 subscribers and I would love to do something fun to uh, commemorate it or just celebrate that I have 100 subscribers now. And I'm thinking of doing it with a Q&A type video. So I will ask you to comment down below with any questions you have for me. I'm thinking of doing like 10 questions for 100 subs. Uh, I will also be asking for questions on my Instagram. Uh, which is linked down below. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, it's all bookish themed. I give in-depth reviews of the books that I am reading as well as post TBRs, wrap ups, you know, all the things I do here on booktube, but in a little picture. And I also create reels and post them as well. But yeah, I hit 100 subscribers. That's so exciting. So let me know if you have any questions for me, bookish or otherwise, and uh, maybe I will include them in the video. So thank you all so much. <laughs> So I am going to close out this vlog now so I can start editing it now so that hopefully it can be up Thursday morning, probably won't be, but it'll be up sometime on Thursday. I can pretty much almost guarantee that. Like my Tuesday video was up very, very late on Tuesday, but again, technical issues. But I think I found a way to solve my technical issues. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, that is the end of Ghost Week, and next week we'll begin Vampire Week. I'm kind of hoping to read one of the vampire books tonight while I'm waiting for the video to download and then upload. And spoiler alert, that book is going to be Fangs. And again, I have four books scheduled for Vampire Week, but because Fangs is a short graphic novel, I have a feeling I'll get that done in like half an hour. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you're curious about the other videos, they will be linked down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you can be notified when I post. I am posting these spooky themed vlogs on Thursdays, and then I'm posting extra content on Tuesdays. And I'm doing that only for the month of October. However, there may or may not be two weeks worth of content in November and December as well. So, subscribe for that, like the video if you liked it, comment down below if you've read any of these books or have any suggestions for books you want me to read and get my thoughts on. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.